in her will on the last day of her life, she called Amir al-Mu'mineen salamullahi alayhi. She said, Ya Ali, I would like you to vacate the house because I have something important to tell you. So Amir al-Mu'mineen salamullahi alayhi vacated the house. He sent the children outside. He came and he hugged Fatima salamullahi alayha. She cried and he cried. And then she told him, Yabna al-Am, oh my cousin, you know that I never cheated you, nor did I ever lie to you. He said, Ya Fatima, I have not seen anything but good from you. I have not seen anything but kindness from you. What is this you're saying? She said, Yabn al-Am, today is my last day in this dunya. I will be joining my father, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And so I have few words that I would like to tell you about. And I would like you to perform and execute this will of mine. Amir al-Mu'mineen, salamullahi alayhi, his tears started flowing on his cheeks. And he says, Ya Fatima, today is a difficult day for me. Only a few days ago, I lost your father, Rasulullah, and today I'll be losing you. But say, what would you like me to do? What do you want from me? Qalat ya ibn al Oh my cousin, Ya Ali. يا ابن العام تزوج من بعدي بابنة أختي أمامة فإنها أحن على عيالي بعدي Mary after me my niece أمامة for she will be the best and most compassionate person to take care of my children after me then he said then what يا فاطمة what else do you want she said يا ابن العام وعليك بالحسن والحسين فإنهما من بعد يتيمين بالأمس فقدا جدهما واليوم يفقدان أمهما فلا تصرخ في وجههما من بعد أبدا She said oh my cousin and take care after me of حسنات حسين Never yell at them, for after me they will be orphaned. It was only a few days ago that they lost their grandfather, Rasulullah, and today they'll be losing their mother, Fatima. If you yell at them, they will have no one to turn to. So take care of Hassan and Hussein. I say, Ya Zahra, I wish you were there on the day of Ashura to see Abi Abdullah al Hussein under the horses of Bani Umayyah. I wish you were there to see what Zainab had to see on the day of Ashura. When she had to call, Ya Jaddah, Ya Rasulullah. And then she said, Ya Ibn al وَادْفُنِّي لَيْلًا إِذَا نَامَتُ الْعُيُونُ وَهَجَعَتِ الْأَبْصَائِهَا وَلَا تُشْهِدْ عَلَىٰ دَفْنِي أَحَدًا وَاخْفِي قَبْرِي فَلَا أُرِيدُ هَؤُلَاءِ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُونِي أَنْ يَشْهَدُوا جَنَازَتِي أَوْ أَنْ يَعْلَمُوا مَكَانَ قَبْرِي O my cousin, and bury me in the middle of the night. When people go to sleep, I don't want anyone to come and witness where my grave is. Those people who hurt me, those people who killed my baby, those people who took my right away from me, I don't want them to witness my burial, nor do I want them to know where my grave is. He said, okay, Ya Fatima, we'll do that as well. And then she said, Ya Ibn al وَعْلَمْ أَنِّي طَاهِرَةٌ مُطَهَّرًا And be aware that I have been purified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because she did not want Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen to see her body when he is doing the ghusl of her body. This is how much caring Fatima al-Zahra was for the emotions of Ali ibn Abi Talib sallamullahi alayhi. She did not want him to see the bruise on her body. And then she said, Ya ibn al-Am, and recite Quran for me. Because the mayyit enjoys the recitation of the Quran. And I like to hear you when you read the Quran. So read the Quran for me. Amir al-Mu'mineen sallamullahi alayhi. Says yes, Ya Fatima. After she gave him her will, and she told him what she had to tell him, then Amir al-Mu'minin alayhi salam left to the masjid. Asma bint Umay says, I was with Fatima alayhi salam. When she told me, Ya Asma, 
I'm going to my room. After an hour, call me. If you hear me replying, then it shall be so. But if I don't reply to you, then be aware that I have joined my father, Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Asma says, I sat down reading the Quran. After some time, I called, Ya Mawlat, Ya Zahra. She did not reply to me. I said, Ya bint Rasulullah. She did not reply back to me. I said, Ya bint man salla bi malaikat al-sama. Oh, the daughter of the one who prayed among the angels in the skies. She did not reply back to me. So I went to the room of Fatima. كشفت الغطاء عن وجهها وإذا بي أرى فاطمة قد فارقت الحياة I went to her room I saw that Fatima has joined her father Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم At that moment Hassan and Hussein came back from the masjid They said يا أسماء أين أمنا فاطمة Where is our mother فاطمة She said I didn't know what to tell these two young boys So I said يا حسن Ya Hussein, Ya Ibn Rasulullah, your mother is asleep. Imam al Hassan ran to the room of his mother and said, Ya Asma, this is not the time of sleep of our mother Fatima. This is the time of ibadah of our mother Fatima. He went to his mother's room and then he cried, Akhi Hussein, Inna Ummana Mayta. Oh, brother Hussein, our mother has left this world and joined our grandfather, Rasulullah. They ran to the masjid of Rasulullah, crying, weeping. Salman saw them. He said, what is the matter, O children of Rasulullah? They said, Ya Salman, عجباً للسماء لم تنطبق على الأرض. It is strange that the skies haven't collapsed on the earth yet. What is the matter? They said, Ya Salman, ماتت أمنا فاطمة. Then Amir al-Mu'mineen rushed to the house of Fatima, salamullah alayha, weeping and crying. Then the people gathered by the house. He told the people, go back, we will be burying Fatima later, not now. So everybody went back. Amir al-Mu'mineen, salamullah alayhi, waited until the night came. At that time, he washed the body of Fatima along with Asma. She was helping him. Asma says at one point, after he finished washing, the body of Fatima I saw Amir al-Mu'mineen going to the corner of the room weeping crying this master of patience I saw him losing his patience I told him Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen you are the one who teaches us about patience how can you lose yours Qala Ya Asma if you had seen what I have seen you would also lose your patience I saw the body of Fatima I saw her broken rib. I saw Fatima. I Then Amir al Mu'mineen, alayhi salam, he put Fatima on the kafan. Before he closes the kafan, he called, Ya Hassan, Ya Hussein, Ya Zainab, wa Ya Umm Kulthum. But this is what Imam al Hassan and Imam Hussein had to witness. This is what Zainab and Umm Kulthum had to witness. He said, Ya Hassan, Ya Hussein, Ya Zainab, wa Ya Umm Kulthum, ta'alu wa ta'alu. وَادَعُوا مَعَ أُمِّكُمْ فَاطِمَةً Come and bid the last farewell with your mother Fatima For you will not see her until we are reunited again in Jannah Amir al-Mu'mineen says I saw Imam al-Hassan throwing himself on the body of his mother Calling Ummah Ana waladuk al-Hassan ajibin he says, Oh mother, I am your son Hassan, respond to me. And then I saw Imam al Hussein throwing himself on the body of his mother, calling, Ummah, Ana waladuk al Hussein, Ajibini. I am your son Hussein, respond to me. 
أمير المؤمنين ستيتس أشهد أني رأيت فاطمة أنت وحنت ورفعت يديها واحتضنتهما I bear witness I saw فاطمة weeping for her children at that moment and then she raised her arms and she embraced her sons and they remained in that state until I heard a cry from the skies calling me يا علي ارفعهما فلقد أبكى يا جميع ملائكة السماء <laughs> oh Ali, remove them from the body of their mother for all the angels in the skies are weeping for those two orphans of Fatima. <laughs> Amir al-Mu'mineen says, then I removed Hassan and Hussein from the body of their mother and I closed the coffin of Fatima alayhi as Then he took Fatima salamullahi alayha with Hassan and Hussein and with very few selected sincere companions like Abu Dhar and Salman. They went to marry Fatima and they reached a point where he turned to people and he said, Ya Abadak, take everybody back. Go back now. I will take care of the burial of Fatima. <laughs> then he buried Fatima, salamullahi alayha. And he hid her grave. And then he went to the grave of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He sat down on the grave as mentioned in Nahjul Balagha. He started weeping and he said, Ya Rasulullah, لقد استرجعت الوديعة The trust you have given me is now returned back to you. Fatima is now with you. And your daughter who has lost all her health, the weakened daughter now is joined with you. Let her tell you of what your nation has done to her and to us, Ya Rasulullah. Amma layli fa musahad wa amma huzni fa sarmad. My nights are sleepless and my grief is for eternity. And he remained there with Weeping and crying, ah, be a billetty, matat wellam, tamut maka, arimusani, be a billetty, do finat, wabaka, kabu hasami, kafi, inna lilla, inna lilla, inna lilla, وسيعلم الذين ظلموا أي منقلبين ينقلبون والعاقبة للمتقين